We only got nine tenths of an inch in Oak Creek. Thanks to Ron for sending in that total. 8400 in Racine as well as in West Bend. A tenth of an inch of rain in Milwaukee. Brookfield, thanks to George for sending in that uh, total. About three quarters of an inch almost in the Brookfield area. And of course, on top of the clouds and the rain, we had these really intense wind gusts, mainly off the lakefront. Almost up to 40 mile an hour wind gusts today in Fond du Lac. These were not with the thunderstorms. And even though we do have a few thunderstorms moving through the area at the moment, you can see the heaviest downpours pushing through sort event around the Franksville area. These are all moving up to the north. This is with a bigger line and this line actually was producing quite a bit of tornadic activity down in Illinois earlier today. So just 100 miles to our south uh, to outbreak of tornadoes. Now this has diminished as far as intensity. We're still just looking at some decent rain showers, but here's a look at all those batches of tornado reports down to our south today. 22 reports of tornadoes on the warm side of this big storm system. On the cold side, look at all these reports of snow anywhere from two to five inches in some of these reports, basically from Nebraska through Minnesota and into northern Wisconsin, and it's still snowing. And of course, this whole system is still slowly going to be moving off to the east. So we're going to be watching uh, this precipitation continue for a while. What type of precipitation? Well, here's what we're going to talk about the future forecast. Notice as we start off the day tomorrow, that warm front still on top of us here in southeastern Wisconsin. So at seven o'clock in the morning, we still have a little bit of light rain, some patch fog north of Fond du Lac County. That's where the snow is going to be by 11 o'clock in the morning. Fond du Lac Dodge County will start to watch that change over to snow. Notice by the noon hour that changes to snow into the Waukesha area, but Milwaukee well, we won't see that in Milwaukee until about six o'clock in the evening. These will be scattered snow showers diminishing as we get into your Monday morning. A few flurries are possible, but high pressure was going to eventually push away some of that cloud cover by the time we get to your Tuesday. So from now until about 11 o'clock rain could could see an additional quarter to a half an inch of rain tonight. Isolated thunderstorm possible with that big line of thunderstorms moving through. Then tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., rain changes to snow from the northwest to the southeast. Then 7 p.m. on Sunday night until 7 a.m. on Monday morning. Snow likely just a few lingering flurries behind that. How much snow are we talking? Not a whole lot, especially down in the south where it's going to stay mainly as rain. Trace to about an inch from the state line up through Milwaukee up to the north. Closer to Fond du Lac in uh, Beaver Dam, Dodge County, more like two inches there. And it's going to be that wet, kind of stickier snow, especially after all the rain that we've seen. But tonight, again, we're staying as rain. Tomorrow, that transitions over to snow, and we kick off Hanukkah tomorrow. I think the snowflakes will be falling. That's going to all wrap up by the time we get to your Monday morning. And then the temperatures are going to slide back into the freezer. We're talking at least some sunshine for your Tuesday and Wednesday. More snow likely, lighter amounts on Thursday, but then, yeah, cold.